Reyes Ski, Nolan's 14, baby. Let's donate to the SEALs, let's make them proud. Thanks to all my sponsors. Thank you to Scott Mellon. We got all the North Face stuff. We couldn't be in better hands with North Face for this project. It's all the new Super Light Summit Series. It's all the new L5 waterproof. I got the steep jacket, summit beds, down jacket. We got Corvus Janitorial. Thank you to Oakley. For this ski, the most important piece of equipment is my skis. So, I've got three sets. I've got two sets of these DinaFit World Cups. These are 160 centimeter length. These are what we race the Grand Traverse on. We've got the carbon 60 underfoot. These things with the bindings, these are the DinaFit race toe pieces and expedition hill pieces for durability. We got backup poles. So here's all the important stuff. This is the bread and butter of uh, Nolan's. So I always carry, you'll be able to follow me on my Facebook, Eric Sullivan. Instagram's Aspen Sully, my YouTube's uh, Sully Eric Sullivan. This is the Delorme satellite tracker. And this will drop the breadcrumbs and when you follow along, you can pull on my Facebook page, click on the link, it'll pull up Google Earth and show you where I'm at. I can send messages anywhere in the world. First aid kit, I got some gauze, it's real light. Tape, gauze, triangular bandage, and then toiletries, very important in case you experience stomach distress. Wet wipes, toilet paper, and hydrocortisone. Chafing is no fun, kids. And then we got the first aid kit, or the repair kit. We got a Toco Posi drive. We got a backup compass. We got a spare headlamp with batteries, uh, parachute cord, more batteries, spare contacts. I wear contacts, so if I lose one out there, I'm blind enough. I can't see. So spare contacts. Of course, avalanche beacon. And you don't go uphill anywhere without skins. These go on the bottom of your skis. These are atomics. I'll always have one of my skis and then two backups. Um, so I'll always carry three sets of skins and then for spring conditions, it's very icy So I use these DinaFit race crampons. They just go on and they got these metal spikes in there. So they bite they just hook in here um, Therma rest and then on the trail this is what I sleep in it's a little mylar space bag designed for NASA um, It's just the little aluminum bivy sacks. I got a backup pole in case I break a pole. Um, Lueco tape. If you know me, you know I swear by this stuff. You can put this on before a race. It's ready to go. I got my mini Leatherman. No hot spots. If your feet start to get messed up, you stop and tape before you get blisters. I got gels. And then, I always get cold hands. So I've got these new North Face Summit gloves. These are 800 fill down and then there's creeks in with all the spring runoff one filter bottle and two bottles is all I'll carry and there's water every 20 minutes until you get above tree line so I'm never more than an hour without seeing water anywhere so a filter bottle two bottles and then before I go to a tree line I'll fill them up with this and then this is my grandma Ruby Higgins my Nana this is her obituary this is her picture and she goes with me everywhere. She's either in the top loader of my pack or taped into the helmet. So she's with me, she watches over me. I got electrolyte pills. And then I've got these boots. I've got three sets of these for Nolans. These are the Carbon Pierre Genot Blacks from France. The boots clip in here in the toe piece. Skins are on, you're walking. And then when you go down, move it. Step down, rip the skin, you're downhill mode. But these are featherweight. But I wear 14, so no other boots fit me, so I have to have these custom made in France. Real convenient. And then, what holds it all together, these two backpacks are the ones I will be using. These are Out There USA. This is the 45 liter, designed by Mike Closure. Uh, he was the team captain for Nike Adventure Racing. Um, I spent my tenure with Solomon Crested Butte Adventure Racing, racing against Mike Closure, best athlete of all time, period. Um, and 
So this is the 45 liter. You can see it's well ventilated. This is for the big sections where I have to take a sleep bag of jet boil. Um, but 95% of the time, I'm going to be using this out there uh, USA pack. It, this is the AS3. This is the 30 liter pack. And it's got the, the hook for the skis. I always carry some of this for just, you can clip anything onto anything. And then I'll show you. Your water bottles are right here. I mean, this is the most well thought out design pack. I gotta take a knee, I stood up too fast. About <laughs> passed out. <laughs> and so this is an add-on, but people always wonder how I get from snow to, to dirt because it's springtime, the snow's firm, and until you get to about 11,000 feet, you're on dry trails. So, these are the Solomon Speed Cross 4s, the Gore-Tex version. They got these huge lugs. And these gators, as you can see, I put them on there. And all this is uh, epoxy. They, only, they make this gator on another shoe, but only in a 13, and I wear a 14. So I bought the 13s took a razor and cut it all off and then uh, glued it to the shoe and I had this idea um, from racing in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates desert racing I designed shoes 10 years ago for this sand and so it's just a regular shoe inside but you can see I glued it on so it's a shoe and then it's a zip the full zip gator so you zip it up now your whole shoes waterproof and because they came off 13s, they were too short, so I had to cut a old piece of Gore-Tex and sew it on the back to make them work, but I'll be using these. So I'll always have these in my pack, and then my ski boots on on the snow. And then on the trails, I put these on, my boots go in the bindings. Um, let me do this one second. So on the downhills, you lock the heel piece, and your toes clip in here like this, and this is uphill mode. So this comes down so you don't clip in. And you walk up like this with the skins on. And then when you get to the downhill, you rip the skins, do that. And then you step down, it locks your hill and you ski down. And then when I get to the dry trail, I'll leave my boots in the bindings and I'll just step out. And then here's the cool thing. Boots will be in the bindings. Let's go ahead and put the other one in so you'll get the full effect. So they're in there like that. I get put my sneakers on and then we do this. To here and then we're on the trails. And then when we get to snow line, sneakers come off. Boots stay in the bindings and the toes and you just slip out and slip in. Um, ninja style, nobody knows you were there. <laughs> I like to call it ninja shit. Um, so, yeah, it's got the chest straps, you know, I mean, you just snug. Then you can take off and run. But, uh, yeah, it's just taking them off. Oh, the hills aren't down, but when you run, the hills gotta be locked in. Otherwise, they do this the whole time. So you lock your heels in or it's annoying. <laughs> it don't be annoying on the trail. Um, and then, while we're here, this is a coat. Nobody, this does not exist. This is a one-off. And we have these custom made down jackets. I got a synthetic one. And when you get to the top of the climb and it's cold and you wanna ski down, you just uh, pull this out of your little pouch right here. And then you don't even have to take your pack off. You want to do the Velcro? I got grass in there. And then it's open on the back, so you can still access your pack. You put it on like this, and then the Velcro goes under so the wind doesn't blow it up. And then you're on the summit. You're warm. And then when you get down, you raise skin up so you don't get hot. You just undo the Velcro, pull it over, restuff it, and that's it. We got all kinds of tricks up our sleeve. Full side zips on these bibs. This is what I'll be using the whole time. 
because it's got all the pockets on the front. So we got pockets, 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 full zips. Uh, you can put these on over your boots. And then I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Fred Solis with Premier Crested Butte Painting. You want something painted in Crested Butte, you call Fred Solis. Boom. Um, Secret Stash. Secretstash.com. Pizza. Kylina Falzone. Thank you. This is going to keep us fed, folks. This is what we're eating on Nolan's. These are all ready. Um, not only is Ben Johnson my videographer, he's also my nutritionist, and uh, he keeps me squared away. Don't agree with the dairy, though. but No dairy, except for that. And then, um, so let's move along. Because it's going to be wet, our skins will get sticky and ball up. Um, so... We carry this with us. This is Mountain Flow Eco Wax. It's rub on. You can rub it on your skins. Uh, this is the cool 15 to 30 degrees. We've got different temperature ranges. It's all plant based, organic stuff. But it's just got a little sponge. You rub it on your skins, on your bases, so they don't get sticky in the middle of the day. That's about it. We got North Face, Dinafit, Oakley, Corvus, the Seal Foundation. We got my friend Des Dan Escalante with us in spirit. It's all about the journey, being present in the moment and enjoying every day because you just do not know when it's your last. And there's always risk. It's risk we reward. It's a gamble when you play in the mountains. And we are never stronger than the mountains. We must be in harmony with the mountains and hope they grant us safe passage. So as long as we have a safe week and ski with all my friends. Uh, it'll be a success. It's gonna be four or five days or less. We don't know um, how long it's gonna be, but it's gonna be a good time. And we have pure and organic intent going into this. We have the power of Dan, Escalante's soul and spirit with us. And we are destined for greatness. We are lions and it's time to eat. Let's do this.